What if I told you there's a diesel engine out there, built by Caterpillar, that's so powerful it makes some train engines look like oversized lawnmowers? Yeah, bold claim, right? Today we're unpacking the Caterpillar C175-20, a mechanical monster that has gearheads and rail fans debating, is this engine actually more powerful than the ones used in trains? And the answer might surprise you, because it's not just about horsepower. Quick question. When you picture the most powerful diesel engines on Earth, what comes to mind? Freight trains, probably. Locomotives dragging hundreds of tons across thousands of miles. It makes sense. They're literally built to move nations. But here's where it gets interesting. In the shadows of those steel giants, Caterpillar quietly engineered a 20-cylinder behemoth that can put some of those train engines to shame. Enter the C-175-20. Let's put this into perspective. This engine produces up to 4,000 horsepower. Yes, you heard that right. 4,000. That's more power than many of the EMD and GE locomotives running in North America today. For comparison, the widely used EMD SD70 ACE locomotive, a freight workhorse, produces around 4,300 horsepower. So technically, the C-175-20 is breathing down its neck, and sometimes outpacing it, depending on the configuration. Wait, did we just say a stationary engine could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a freight train? Well, yes, and no. Let's not get carried away. Trains are complex systems, and their power isn't just about raw horsepower. Locomotives are designed for continuous duty cycles, high torque at low speeds, and the ability to operate for days non-stop. They're rugged, purpose-built machines that balance power, endurance, and control. But here's the twist. The C-175-20 wasn't designed for mediocrity. This engine is used in some of the world's largest mining trucks, capable of hauling over 360 tons of material per load. These trucks operate in extreme conditions, from freezing Arctic tundras to blistering desert pits. And they do it every day, with a caterpillar heart beating inside. The C-175-20 also serves in power generation. Think backup power for data centers, hospitals, and even military installations. It's not just flexing power. It's powering critical infrastructure. But what makes this engine truly shocking isn't just what it can do. It's how small its footprint is compared to a locomotive. This isn't a full-size train. This is a modular diesel Titan that can be packed into heavy equipment and stationary generators and still deliver locomotive-level muscle. Now here's where things really get spicy. Some newer locomotives, especially those built for short hauls or switching yards, run engines producing around 2,000 to 3,500 horsepower. So yes, in that matchup, the C-175-20 doesn't just win, it dominates. That's like putting a jet engine on a bulldozer. So, is the Caterpillar C-175-20 more powerful than a train engine? In certain cases, absolutely. Especially when you're comparing it to smaller or older locomotives. It might not have the traction motors, the frame, or the rail-specific engineering, but pound for pound, it holds its own. And it raises a bigger question. Are we underestimating the engines hiding inside construction equipment mining trucks, and power plants. We always look to trains, planes, or even ships when we talk about engineering marvels. But maybe we've been overlooking the ground pounders. So next time someone brags about a 12-cylinder Camaro or a 3,000-horsepower locomotive, you can drop this on them. Ever heard of a Caterpillar C-175-20? It'll outpull your train and power your entire city while doing it. Make sure you hit that like button if this blew your mind and subscribe for more breakdowns of the machines most people never hear about, but can't live without. And trust me, next week we're going even bigger. Let's just say, there's a diesel engine out there that could give a battleship a run for its money. See you then.